Greetings everybody, The Magnus here, and welcome to the first part of our Crash Bandicoot 2 playthrough. Arguably the best Crash Bandicoot game out there. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please consider hitting the like button and impacting the subscribe button. It'll help on the long run. With all that out of the way, I do hope you enjoyed the video. And here we are where we left off in Crash Bandicoot 1. Cortex has fallen after we defeated him. How does he survive? I don't know, he's an evil genius. <laughs> Mysterious cavern. How did you not find out with all the mining? Iconic, you will laugh. Yep, crystals are really powerful. <laughs> One whole year. Interesting. When they build the space station. Ah, uh, engine. Wonder what that accent was of the your ex well, <laughs> current state. <laughs> what are we talking about? Crash, crash, crash! My battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring in extra battery for me. You know, I love that she asks for a battery when she should ask for a charging cord or something. And also, where'd you get that laptop? <laughs> Whatever. Here you are in Crash Bandicoot 2, where they added some new mechanics. And by that, I mean the ability to crouch. You know very sneakily, the ability to slide, which is crouch while, crouch while you're running, and the high jump, which is crouch into a jump. Now, there's also a speedrunning technique you can do, where if you do that, you can uh, move fast and even jump higher doing that. I will probably be doing that just because I'm so used to doing it, but don't worry, we're not trying to speedrun the game, we're just trying to enjoy it. So with that being said, tutorial level is done. We got kidnapped. Ah, uh, I remember the warp room. So many good memories. Hello, Cortex. Well, if it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. Let's go let you talk. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. Ooh, we gotta go get crystals. Can we trust Cortex? Answer? No. Obviously, we saw the opening cutscene. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be right back and see if there's subtitles. Okay, no subtitles, so I just gotta make sure I shut my mouth. <laughs> that being said, let's get on to the first world after we show off the warp room. You know, don't get me wrong, I love the map from Crash Bandicoot 1, but something about the warp room gives it so much more personality. <laughs> Alright, off to the first room. As we can see, there's a gem, a crystal, and a blue gem. Ooh, our first color gem. Although there's a red one right here, so what am I saying? <laughs> let's get to it. Ah, uh, here we are, the very first stage of Crash Bandicoot 2. Now, I'm going to do a little explaining real quick, so sorry Crash, you got to sit in the ring for a minute. Hope you don't get too cold. So, in this level in particular, there is a blue gem. The way it was originally hidden in Crash Bandicoot 2 was, well, you see a little box counter? There's a holographic version of that at the end of the stage. And what the trick was, it would say you got, let's say, 42... Out of 62, right? Well, it was, would actually say 42 out of 0. Yeah, good luck finding that unless you're intentionally missing boxes or you never get all the gems. And it's also such a small detail, it's very easy to overlook. So basically, the trick is you have to beat the stage without breaking a single box to get the blue gem. So we're going to be doing just that. No more backtracking for gems. <laughs> actually, we'll have to do it a few times, but for now, we don't have to worry about it at all. Now, the trick is to actually not break any crates. You might be saying, isn't that easy? Well, not if you actually spin an enemy into a box. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So basically, we're just going to be taking a nice little stroll, maybe pulling the Mario and jumping on a few critters. Now, this also means no checkpoints. Hello, turtle. You look like you've seen better days. We're just taking a nice little stroll through the rain. Oh, here's a little bit of a mud puddle, and yes, it does slow you down. Jump over here. Oh, we jumped on you. Didn't mean to, but we did. Hello, turtles. Now, this is a very tricky part. How are we going to get by here if we can't break any boxes? Well, I found the easiest way to do this. <laughs> and then there's nothing. All right. Here's a trick I like to do that you can only do from speed running. Basically, you can jump over this pit. Now, for this first pit, I'm going to jump down and show you what you're supposed to do. You're stuck down here. You have to defeat these little moles. And a mushroom appears. Yay, you got out. But it is possible to not deal with that at all. We're going to try it both ways real quick. So first way is we didn't make it. But we did get, come on. Come on, let me show it off. See, you're not supposed to be able to jump out. But if you do it correctly, come on. Oh, come on, I can do this. One second. There we go, I did it. Yeah, you can just jump straight out. That's the power of this spin, crouch, high jump thing. It's really useful if you can do it. <laughs> I can, it just took me a while. And of course the crystal, the whole reason we're in this stage. So now, can we do this one? Nope, we missed it. Come on. Okay, one more try. Oops. I forgot about the ground, <laughs> ground slam. Whatever. You saw the trick. I don't have to worry about it. I'll keep trying it, but... You don't have to worry about it. So, at the end of the stage, we have gotten no boxes, and there's our beautiful blue gem. Now, you might be saying, okay, so we have to go back in for the clear gem, right? Well, let's just say, Mr. Bandicoot walked this way. There's a couple of speedrunner tricks I do know of. Skips, you know, speedrun, high jumps, moving fast, stuff like that. But I also know a couple exploits, we'll call them. So, do we have to go into the stage? No, we don't. Or we go into the stage, rather. The answer? No, no, we don't. I might be saying, how does that make sense? Well, simply put, we're going to make it so that box reappears. Now, how are we going to do that and get all the boxes? Well, there's a very clever trick you can do going backwards to get all the boxes and cause the clear jump to still appear. It's a very well-known speedrunner trick. So, do you think I could pull it off? First, you have to go to the left. Then you have to go over here, get enough height right there. I hope we got it. Double check. All right, spin this part a few times, and I think we're all good. So, what do we have to do now? We set it up. We gotta do this. And that's going to make the box respawn. And it's going to make us respawn with our gem and crystal still in tow. <laughs> Which means we can redo the stage as if it was our first time. And break all the boxes. <laughs> now that's not a glitch. I just did that for fun. You know, I always wanted to try one of those weird setups that make it work. The game is set up to where once you get something, you keep it. You get the crystal, you keep it. The reason for that is checkpoints. If you get the crystal, you get a checkpoint and you die, you would have to, you know, backtrack for the crystal. So they said, how about if you pick up one of the items, you keep it. So that means you can do some shortcuts. Oh, here we are, bonus area. Not the bonus stage, a bonus area. Jump on some turtles, but platforming basic fun. <laughs> get this checkpoint. Come on, move it, Crash. Oh no, birds. My sworn enemy. Actually, evil scientists are crashes sworn enemy. So here's another situation where we have to go around, but if we do the speedrunner shot, we can make it. <laughs> and we can just break this one because we have to and do that. Now, can we make it? Yes, we can. Made it across. We do it again. Yes, we can. Now, you see, they drop after a while, and then you can't get up here again. Well, I mean, you could if you do that. Again, speedrunner strats. <laughs> I don't speedrun crash, but... I do know the strats, or at least some of them. <laughs> All right, Crash. Let's get going. Also, this green box. It'll come into play later, but for now, we're going to hit that and call it a huge explosion. Now we ride this back up, and we're back to where we were. Hello, Aku Aku. Been a while, old friend. And by while, I mean, what, a minute? <laughs> 
All right, keep it going. And now instead of having to get Tana tokens or whatever, we just have bonus areas. And they're still pretty much the same thing. You know, little platformer here, little puzzle there, nice way to get extra Wumpa, extra lives, and most importantly, get the 100%. All right, back at it. Ooh, mud blocks, can we... Nope, we screwed that up. <laughs> Take a mud bath crash. Alright, here we are. Almost at the end of the stage. Hopefully I didn't miss a box. Speaking of boxes, here's that wall that was impeding our path. But you know what? It's so satisfying to break. Alright, can we do this? Hey, we did it! See? That's the kind of skip I was talking about. And there is a box right here. You can barely see it. I'm going to walk backwards and see right here, you can see the box fully. Now, if you want to, you can do it with the turtle, or you can just, you know, come on. There we go, do that. That's an easy box a lot of people probably miss, and they probably did that on purpose, so you can see the, you know, 80 out of zero. <laughs> and didn't get it. Come on, one more. Come on. There we go. I love that little trick. It's not like it saves time unless you do it first try, but I just love doing it. Come on. Okay, we're just going to do it right away. <laughs> A little bouncy mushroom. And yeah, just like that, the first stage is 100%. No redoing it at all. <laughs> what a great way to start Crash Bandicoot 2. Arguably the best Crash Bandicoot 2 game. Crash game. <laughs> Back in the warp room. Alright, you swallowed the crystal, sure, and you put the gem in your ear, and you swallow. You know, how's your stomach hold that crash? Do your famous little crash dance. <laughs> Boom. Oh great, more story. I'm gonna shut up. Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. The crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Are you there, Crash? Oh, hello, Coco. Crash! Are you there, Crash? All right, do we believe anything Cortex said? Ah, who cares? On to the next stage. Here we are in Snowgo. In case the name didn't give it away, it's a snow stage. And here's the new crate, Nitro. Basically, they're TNT, but very sensitive. You touch it, it blows up. Or these, you know, you can touch them, and then they blow up. <laughs> they make for some very difficult platforming. But that's what the green box we hit in the first stage is all about. Alright, and of course, the nemesis of all platformers, ice. Now, Crash does have some very annoying ice physics. Mainly because he has this, like, ramp-up speed, and he keeps the speed, and it's hard to slow down. And you can't build up speed. It's very annoying. Luckily, though, any of Crash that knows that sliding apparently completely cancels everything. <laughs> So if you're having a problem with ice, apparently you just got a crouch slide. There we go, get a little speed, and see? Annoying, but you can just jump over them. Although they can also jump, so sometimes they'll sneak up on you. And time for some side-scroller action. That's right, I said side-scroller. Oh no, it's gonna crush us. Not. Pretty obvious. Nice try, game. Oh no, I'm gonna be crushed. Now, you can walk under them. I like to bait them out, though. It's more fun for me. But again, I have to ask, who built those? Or these? What purpose do they have? I'd like to know. Because remember, Cortex didn't build these stages. These are actual natural stages. Oh no, ice. <laughs> they just slide to victory. Alright, can we get that? Yes, we can. Easily. The crouch is so important to Crash's toolkit. I missed it from Crash Bandicoot 1. Another reason why Crash Bandicoot 2 is arguably the best. Alright, hit these boxes and they appear. Spin away some Wumpa, we don't need it. 
Oh, you know what we need? Booga Booga time! That's what we need. <laughs> and oh no, there's a little secret right there. <laughs> that takes you a while to find, trust me. I'm a vet. That's the only reason I was able to find it, I swear. <laughs> if I play the stage, I don't know how many times. Oh no, clear box. What are we supposed to do? Oh, he just hit that. I believe we hit it, and we did. Hooray. Already up to 10 lives. Are we going to need them? Probably not. So, did we get the gem? Let's find out. Yes, we did. Success. Back to the warp room. Uh, every time. Now, we're just going to skip. Whoops. I swear you could skip this. Maybe it's just a dance you can skip. <laughs> My bad. Okay, yeah. This. There we go. More story. Hey, it's Embryo. You okay? The world is truly your concern. You must be to gather the gems, not the cr crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to f f focus a laser. Ah, yes, a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he has created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you <laughs> from gathering crystals. <laughs> Alright, man, take a chill pill. Also, how many people have my holophone number? <laughs> you know, my very first play Crash Bandicoot, I remember thinking, can you actually beat this game without getting the crystals and only gems? The answer is no. Absolutely not. Here we are in Hang 8. Hey, Aku Aku. I'm glad you're still here with me, because we are in a water level. That's right, you remember those upriver levels from Crash 1? They're back. Only a little bit more complicated, but also a little bit more fun. And you know what time it is? Booga Booga time! Alright, men eating plant. If you remember, there was only one of those in the previous game. I don't know, a timer! You gotta run! Run, Crash, hurry! Because this stage has two clear gems. I don't know if you noticed on the wall. And we get one of those clear gems by beating the stage fast enough, which means no checkpoints so we can reset ourselves. And we gotta go fast. We can't care about anything. Run, Crash, run! Blue gem! Cool! They don't care about that right now. Crystal! Might as well grab it. Taking the shortcut. Sorry, Hippos, get out of my way. Alright, keep going, Crash, keep going, keep going. We're almost there, I think. 28 seconds. Oh no, it's 25. I was wrong! Okay, can we make this jump? Yes, we can. Like a boss. Oh, and that's the end. Never mind. <laughs> and we got the bonus gem. Yay! And just like in the first stage, we're going to do a clever little trick to reset. You know, that probably hurt. Sorry, Crash. Still can't swim. <laughs> but just like that, we can now beat the rest of the stage normally. And by that, I mean enjoy the surfboard. <laughs> you know, I don't know how Crash knows how to ride this thing, but I'm kind of glad he does, because he can't swim. Yet. You know, a lot of platformers couldn't swim. I know it's because, you know, programming swimming would be hard, but come on, Mario eventually learned how to swim, Sonic still can't, and Crash? Well, we'll find out in the third game. Bonus stage, back in the mushroom tree. You know, I love that they kept this in the game, nice little callback to the original. And yes, in case you didn't know, if you stand still and spin, apparently it only hits the bottom box. Took me a while before I realized that. How long's a while? Let's just say, too long to mention. <laughs> Alright. Back to the stage. Back to some surfing, actually. You know, I wonder how cold this water is. Ooh, the blue gem. Let's take it. Might as well. More stages be 100% the first time around, better. Alright, we have a lot of these, but we don't care about them. We're just gonna break them. 
You know what? I probably could have made that, but I want to wait to be safe. There we go. Hello, hippo. You have buck teeth. How'd that happen? Hello, plant. Go away. How are you? How are you planted on solid stone? And overjumped. And guess what? There's no pillbox in this game, so that is entirely on me. Let's do it again. I love the kind of shortcuts you can make in after you've learned how to play this game. Emphasis on after you learn. This way, first off, you're probably not going to make half these jumps, let alone these difficult jumps. <laughs> but it just takes time and practice. Alright, onto the hippo, off the hippo. Although, honestly, seeing me coming, you figure they should have ducked. Get all these, and one, and two, and look at all that nitro. Luckily, we can just jump right over it. Now, you do have to be careful. If you're moving even a little bit, you will slide. And trust me, that's very annoying. Oh no, there's all these grayed out boxes. However, am I going to get them? Yeah, I just go a little bit further and there's the box. <laughs> now careful, these mines are still here. Luckily the game was nice enough to give us a checkpoint, but you know what? We don't need it. Alright, Crash, ready for some sick tricks? What do you have for me? Nice. And what else do you have? The same one. Come on, you have to have something else, right? Yes, you do. And we missed the box because of that. <laughs> Alright, do what you want. Alright, a little bit further, and that should be the end of the blue gem. Yes, it is, and guess what? All the nitro is now gone from the stage. You know, I always wondered if you can get back there. You can't. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> Alright, back to the regular stage, and if there was any nitro, it now no longer exists. But I don't recall any nitro. Hmm, bad memory is going to be bad memory. Now I'm looking to upgrading that one day. <laughs> Alright, but I do know we are almost done. Dash past the whirlpool, go around these mines. Who put these mines here? Don't know. And if I ask the person, they'd probably say just mind your own business. <laughs> yes, I did just make that joke. All right, Clint, you're gonna kill me? No, you're not. Did we get the gem? Yes, we did. What a great way to start off our Crash Bandicoot run. All right, back to the warp room. Let's check our progress. We have our crystal, the whole point of this game. We have our bonus gem, for purposes. Actually, that's the box gem. That's the bonus gem. <laughs> Skip the dance. And who's talking now? Lose his phone number. Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Oh, that was short and sweet. All right, next time, the pits. Well, that was a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed playing. This has been the Mechanist, logging off. Until next time.